Hello bookish friends, uh, welcome to another tag video. This tag video is also one of the uh, special videos that, that I'm doing uh, for Jane Austen July. I'm going to do an accomplished woman's tag. Uh, this tag was originally created by Coyne Reads and it is uh, directly related to, uh, to the accomplished, an accomplished woman chapter in Pride and Prejudice. In this uh, chapter, uh, Mr. Darcy and Carolyn Bingley talked about uh, what constitutes an accomplished woman. Uh, and uh, I would strongly advise you to watch uh, the original tag video by Coyne Reads because uh, she reads the passages with such passion and such love. Uh, I loved uh, watching her uh, tag video. Even though uh, I saw this tag many months ago, uh, I wanted to uh, do this uh, tag for Jane Austen July. I wanted to find out uh, if I'm an accomplished woman or not. First question is music. Uh, favorite literary mu musician. Uh, it can be a fictional character or a real person, uh, but uh, that character should appear in a fictional novel. Uh, I will say uh, the duo of Aza and Prince Ajori in uh, Fairies. Uh, I very currently read uh, this uh, fairy tale retelling uh, of Snow White uh, by Gail Carson Levy. Uh, and uh, there was a scene in which uh, a singing battle uh, was uh, present and uh, I just loved reading that scene. It was one of the uh, best scenes in the uh, book for me. And uh, this book is, I think, one of the books uh, that I really want to see a musical made out of uh, because it contains many, many songs and they are uh, sung by uh, almost all of the characters. But as I've said before, my favorite literary musician in this book is the duo of uh, Aza and Pris Ojori. The second question is singing, uh, a poetry recommendation. Well, I'm the last person uh, to give a recommendation for poetry, I think. I will talk about a poem uh, that was uh, taught to us uh, in high school, uh, The Road Not Taken by Robert Frost. Uh, it is a very uh, powerful poem uh, and I love the meaning of the poem and it tackles one of my favorite uh, subjects uh, in literature uh, actually. Uh, what if uh, we had taken the other road? Question 3, a beautiful cover. Uh, I'm going to show uh, the Turkish edition of uh, Three Daughters of Eve uh, by Elif Şapak. Uh, but I think the English cover is very similar to this one. I like uh, how uh, how uh, the faces of the girls, who are three daughters, of course, are taken uh, from the same angle, uh, all of them constituting uh, a different uh, re race, religion, train of thought. But uh, basically, uh, we all share the same features. Uh, that's, that's the beauty of this cover for me. And it's aesthetic as well. Question 4. Dancing. A book with a lively plot. Uh, of, the Count of Monte Cristo by Alexander Dumas. Uh, although it has some slow moments in the middle, uh, I think uh, this book has uh, one of the uh, plots that has the most uh, events in a book. Uh, so many things happen in this book uh, and uh, they are mostly action-packed as well. And to make it perfect, the book has a very very complex main character and uh, some really uh, intriguing uh, secondary characters. So it is a lively book for sure. Uh, question 5. Modern language. Favorite translated fiction? Well, many of the uh, books uh, that I've read uh, can be uh, considered as translated fiction uh, because uh, before uh, learning and uh, speaking English well, uh, I read many books uh, that were translated uh, from English. But for the sake of contemporary times, uh, I will talk about uh, a book that was written uh, both not in Turkish and not in English. Uh, so. It is A Man Called Uwe uh, by Frederick Bachmann. Uh, I loved this book. It is one of the uh, best uh, books about a grumpy old man. <laughs> uh, and I just love the theme of the book. Uh, it's both funny without being rude uh, to elder people. And uh, also it has a very sentimental side. Uh, I think uh, the translator uh, for Frederick Bachmann books 
is a very uh, successful translator because the book uh, feels very literary uh, as well as uh, emotional and uh, captivating. Although uh, I didn't love Bear Town, uh, I really do like A Man Called Uwe by this author. Question 6. Something in her air and manner of walking. Uh, a book with a strong atmosphere. Uh, I will say Rebecca by Daphne de Murray. Uh, because I think the house uh, is a character in itself, uh, Mandrally. The gothic atmosphere of the book is portrayed uh, wonderfully. I also really do like uh, the uh, characters who are uh, very mysterious. You can really feel uh, the tension uh, while reading the book. Question 7. The tone of her voice, her address and expressions. Uh, a book with a beautiful writing. Uh, I will talk about a book that I very currently finished. Uh, Remains of the Day by Kazu Ishiguro. <laughs> For the first time in many years, uh, I, I've tried to uh, read a book uh, slower than my usual pace uh, so that I would enjoy the beautiful writing of this book. I will talk more about it in my wrap up, but not much happens in this book, but still uh, I loved reading about uh, the characters, uh, their thoughts, their interactions and everything else uh, because it was written so beautifully. Question 8. Improvement uh, of our mind by extensive reading. Uh, your next read. Uh, my next read will be Miss Marple's Final Cases by Agatha Christie. Uh, I'm very excited that I will finish it. Marvel series with this uh, short story collection. Question 9. Would you be considered accomplished by Carolyn Bigley and Mr. Darcy's standards? <laughs> this is a very interesting question. For the standards of Mr. Darcy, certainly. I read extensively <laughs> as, as evidenced uh, by this channel. And uh, Carolyn, about Carolyn Bigley's uh, standards, eh, I mean, I, I, I do well in some, uh, but I fail miserably in, some, in others. Uh, I know English, so uh, I know a second language. Uh, I can speak pretty well uh, in front of an audience. Drawing, yes, I'm an architect. I can do technical drawing, but I'm not very good at uh, artistic drawing. Uh, I love to dance. Walking with grace? Well, I'm... Uh, I'm very. Uh, I used to be very clumsy when I was a teenager. I'm still very. Not, I'm still not very uh, uh, graceful in walking, but at least uh, I can do it uh, without falling uh, most of the time. Uh, for singing, uh, I don't think I have a uh, good singing voice. Uh, lastly, for playing music, uh, I'm not really good. Uh, I can uh, do uh, rhythms and play uh, some of the uh, drums with my hands uh, but that's the but that's the only thing that i can do those are, so those were my answers uh, for uh, an accomplished woman book tag i will thank cozy reading project uh, because uh, she's also doing jane austen july as far as i know and uh, i really would like to know uh, what her answers would be and uh, know more about her because uh, she is fairly new in booktube. Additionally, if you are a new viewer, first of all, welcome. Uh, please like and subscribe. Hope to see you very soon. Bye! As for Turkish word of the day, I'm going to choose woman. Uh, woman means uh, kadın in Turkish and kadın is our Turkish word of the day. Have a good day!